Welcome back to the best guys. We have another BT9 match here. Uh, less OTK orientated and more uh, rogue decks this time. On the left we have Terriamon line, or the Galgamon line I should say, against Mastermon on the right. Mastermon unfortunately took a bit of backstep in BT9 because of the OTK meta, they just couldn't quite keep up. So it will be fun to see how Mastermon can keep up. Uh, with the meta now and how it might have changed. Uh, let's set up with the Terriamon here with a nice team at two uh, rookies out. Uh, one coming out of the nursery, that is. Uh, but it looks like I think the um, Bastimon player has their line set up already, uh, going into the Gatomon in the rear instead of playing it. Another teamer here, having pushed out the Terriamon, they'll get the plus one memory when they play a teamer, which is nice value. Going into the Rapid here, he can um, minus 5k to the Angelmon, and suspending it, um, he can spend it easy to gain a memory and then run over it to clean it up with the Terriamon that had minus two security attack, which is a nice value considering that that Terriamon could punch. Uh, the Rapidmon has 2000 extra attack when it swings here, and then it can purge so it lives the battle and still suspended uh, because it did of course swing. And then we see what else they can do. Go into the Gaia, the Gargomon, sorry, uh, for two, and then another Terrier going nice and um, so good. Good board value for the Terriamon here, but I think the Mastermon player has a good factor, having really strong value in front um, in, their, in their lineup that they're building now. Getting the Lady Derry off the Lady Derry, uh, punching over the guy. They've got the um, end turn. Um, uh, playing the guys over. Sorry, I forget the mechanic name. But they can go into the Mastermon at the end of the turn, after turn pass, and then they can put a card back into the security and play it. Playing the, uh, looks like they put a Gartomon back instead of the Mastermon. Uh, playing the Angel Woman to give the other Terrier minus one, a minus two security attack, and then killing that Terriamon there. So the suspended Terriamon actually has minus four security attack from the previous Angel Woman that was played from hand. Um, and now, they've got plenty of work with for the green here. They just need to convert it back into control. They need to focus on how do they plan to remove the Master Mon. This is just going to give more pressure. Uh, is he e going up here? I don't know what the hybrid can do. I guess they're digging for a level 5, so I don't quite see one in hand at the moment. But in doing so, they're wasting a lot of memory, which is concerning. Because the more memory they waste, the harder it is to get into the cards that can remove this stack. Um, playing another Tamer here. This, this 4 cost Tamer unfortunately isn't necessarily good value uh, because it's quite hard to actually get the effect off um, while also, you know, living. Um, Master one swinging for 2 checks and it's got the Angel Woman underneath it. Going into the Afanimon, just super good value. It won't get the pop effect because it's another pep underneath it, but still a heal putting them back on 5 security is quite nice. Uh, they'll get the bonus 2 memory off the Mimis and Joes because he has a Digimon that is suspended. And they can push out the Gargomon. Uh, the Master player is definitely fine at this point. He, I think he knows that the uh, Gargomon, that the, yeah, the Gargomon player doesn't have really have ways to unsubstantiate. So he doesn't really feel threatened by a lethal push, uh, despite the fact that you know they have plenty of memory. Uh, two tamers and three guys on board. Um, you know, he could convert those tamers into hybrids if he's got them, if he got them in the hand. Um, but it's going super wide with the Terry one here. But I think Master Mod is threatening the lethal here because the Master One does have the plus two security attack here. So I don't think they're going to waste time. They're just going to go in with the swings. With Fanny Mon doing the two checks with the uh, Angel One underneath, and they're just going to wrap that up. very clean, very clean. Uh, we'll go into game. Two here, the Terriamon will make the uh, Mastermon player go first, which I think is definitely the correct play. Um, Mas the Mastermon does have a tendency to brick, but not this time. Getting the TK, TK searching the Gatomon and heal is perfectly fine. And here we see the player again with the Terriamon playing it first and then seeing the Izzy to get that memory back. It's just super good for uh, maintaining memory value. 
uh, we see that hard play Gato Mon there looking at the top three and grabbing a purple and yellow Gato Mon. We can push out here. Uh, I think just going in as quick as possible would be the best way for Terriamon to win this one. Um, Rapid Mon here, removing the Gato is good value, getting that memory back and keeping turn really strong. Uh, and then when they hit with the Rapid, it does have that plus 2k and a oh, hitting the TK Kari. That's really rough. That will change the entire pace of the game because if they can swing. The, the, yeah, they, they're forced to go in really, really hard now and try to go wide here in order to wrap up the game as fast as possible. Uh, the, the Master Mon player has two security here. They just overlap and with each other in this instance. Um, but the TK Kari is really concerning because they will be getting that bonus to memory every turn uh, because they're not going to touch their security. They're just going to do border control here to make sure they are uh, under security to their opponent, but far enough that they won't die from any checks. So, uh, playing back the Gatamon with the Flame Health Scythe, minus 6k to the Gatamon will remove it. I can't purge that by DP reduction. Getting the um, Lady Debbie from the Gatamon Surge, and they should be really strong right now. Um, yeah, doesn't look like they have the right pieces in hand for green to go up very strong here. They need to find another Rapid Mon. I, mm, an alternative play, and I'm not sure if they had the Terrier Mon in earlier, but he could have either the Terrier in the rear and then hard play the Terrier to try to search a Rapid Mon, and then the Rapid Mon could come out for next turn and potentially remove guys. Um, but uh, Master Mons are definitely a hard Digimon to remove with the Master Mon, with the Rapid Mon, uh, because because. Uh, Master Mon is 13k, which makes it, you know, even if he's suspended, it's still uh, 7k, which is hard to beat over with the Rapid Mon. You don't have, like, the right Evo underneath it to give, like, the plus 2k to beat it off. Sorry, minus 5k would make it 8k. Yeah, it makes it even harder. Anyway, punching with the uh, Master Mon, it had plus 2 security attack, but it does run into the Gaga Mon that is 13. Uh, so it won't get that last check. Hard playing the Magnet in one, probably set up another Master Mon for next turn. Uh, if they could, oh, they really can't Rapid here because Rapid, rapid one won't remove anything, but we'll see what they can search out. No Rapid Mons, but we do have the level 4. Well, they, yeah, they probably wanted to be the C level 5 or the uh, Rapid Mon. Um, into Calamon for one cost. Getting, uh, I'm not sure if the Calamon effect is a draw on play, but I will continue play. The Gargomon is a one cost when evoing with the Willis on board. Getting back a memory with the Calamon, then they can pump up one of these Gargomons by 2k. So yeah, that's one way they could have did it if they had the um, Rapidmon pushing out of Terramon, but uh, it wasn't in the cards then, fortunately. Uh, and then they can go onto the Lilamon here, the Lilamon. Uh, this will pass turn, putting the, giving them three, and then two with the TK Kari. Uh, and now I can definitely see a Master Mon play coming out uh, with the Luce Mon and Magna here. Magna just punching over the Kali Mon, getting a good value. Hitting with a Luce Mon will probably live, so. Uh, and then, yes, we do have the DNA evolution with the Master Mon. Uh, Master Mon, having a look at their trash, trying to decide which hybrid they want, what card they want to put in their security. Getting a Gatamon, Gatamon will play. And then Mastermon will remove the champion because it's the same level as the Gatomon. Gatomon effect will activate, fetching the Salomon and Black Gatomon. Um, and now this Mastermon can swing because it was DNA this turn. Um, hitting a Gargamon, but that, I think that one is 11k instead of the 13k one. Uh, so the Mastermon will live. Going into the Angel, the Lady Debbie. Um, effect activates having a look in top three, grabbing the Angel one. And then they can do another Mastermon play again if they want to hard play this Angel Mon. Uh, no, instead of going for the uh, just hard playing an Angel Mon here to choke them at one, I think that's pretty smart because they don't want to be susceptible to a Mega Evolution over this Lylamon. Uh, they can Digi Burst a Lylamon here, but this is a uh, very uphill battle here. 
um, it's gonna be it's gonna be very difficult for them to get to um, get any value off these. Uh, Lila Mon will punch over to Lady Debbie. So get back the memory off the Izzy since I suspended something with the Lila Mon, uh, and then just playing an Izzy. Oh, they need to. Oh, they do have a Rapid, so they are just pulling lots of Tamers out for if the opponent goes wide here, but uh, this is lethal, they're just going to swing for game here. One check with the Magna, one check with the Angemon, and one check with the Rookie will wrap that one up. If you like that one, guys, this was really fun to watch. Really uh, different to what we usually see for BT9 with the OTK, it's quite refreshing in that way. Yeah, if you like that one, guys, definitely check out the rest of the channel. Uh, we've got plenty of BT9 videos, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.